how often we should water our plants? It's a kind of challenging question to answer because watering our plants depends on several factors like the exposure to the sun, the current weather condition, the soil type, plant type, plant size, pot type, pot size, etc. So it's a bit confusing and difficult to remember which plant went to water and how much water that plant need. And for these confusions, most of the time we lose our plants because of overwatering rather than underwatering. So keeping all these things in mind, today I'm going to share with you a very simple trick through which you will be able to find out which plant need water and which one is not individually. The technique is very simple, very easy, anyone can do. I'm not going to use any moisture meter or any high technological types of equipment and will give you not the best but a better idea of how often you should water your plants. So, let's begin. Plants show several indications when they need water. Some plants flop over or wilt or look faded or shrink their leaves when they need water. And based on these indications, expert gardeners recommend people to observe these indications before watering any plants. That means once after watering a plant, let it be like this and do not water until it's showing any wilting or shrinking leaves. It's a general and fairly effective guideline and you can go with this method, but there are some limitations. Sometimes leaves can wilt due to heat even after watering and you may think the plant needs water and this misconception at this point can cause overwatering in plants. Another guideline people recommend to touch the top 2 to 3 inches of soil before watering and feel the moisture. If a few inches of the topsoil feels dry to touch, then it can be an indication that your plant needs water. It's a good way to identify which plant needs water and which one is not. Even I also said several times in my videos to scratch a few inches of the topsoil and then dip down your finger into the soil. If it feels dry, then water and if it is not, then skip watering that day. But this method also has some limitations. Sometimes the topsoil dries fast if the surrounding gets warm, whereas the bottom soil remains wet and if you water over that, it can cause more watering to your plants. So the thing is, you need to go deeper into the soil layers if you want to get an overall idea about the moisture content of the soil. So the technique I'm going to share will give you a fairly clear idea about the availability of moisture in the different layers of the soil and from which you will able to prevent overwatering. So for this method, you need a strong, thin or moderately thick stick or stick-like equipment. Also, you can take a wooden stick, which works much better. I did not find any wooden stick, so I have taken an unused pencil. Now take your stick. Then stick it down along the edge of the pot around one third and then pull it out. If the bottom soil is relatively dry, then the soil particles are not going to come up with this stick, as you can see here. And you can assume that the plant needs water. Now let me show you another example. In this pot, the top soil feeling dry, but this is not a good indication that the pot is dry from the bottom. Now I'm going to put this stick in the soil, then turning a little and then pulling it out. And you can clearly see some of the soil particles are sticking on the stick. So now I would probably say that the bottom parts are still moist, so I'm not going to water this plant today. I may need to water this plant tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Obviously, before watering, I will check again. Now let me show you by using this pencil. Here again, sticking it down around one third in the soil. You can leave it for a few seconds in order to soak some moisture by this wooden piece. And then pulling it out. You can see the soil particles are sticking on the bottom side of this pencil and also has a water soaking mark. That means the bottom layers of the soil are still moist 
and from this you can make an assumption whether this plant needs water or not. Now you may have a question about when to water a plant. Like not all plants require the same amount of water. Some plants like to dry out between watering and some like evenly moist soil. It's a broad question to answer and I probably will make another video dedicated to this aspect. But in short, cactus, succulents, hoyas, dischidias like to dry out between watering, whereas most of the other plants need to be watered when the bottom soil layers are about to dry. I think this technique is more effective than the others cause this technique helped me a lot when I was a beginner. If you always deal with overwatering issues then this sticking stick method will help you. You will get an overview of which plant how often to water. So that's it, hope this video will help you. If you have any queries or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section or if you have better idea than mine, obviously let me know in the comment section. Also feel free to subscribe for the updates. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.